outside Jungle Doctor's Hospital, Doughty asked, Do you know what a U-turn is? A voice answered from the other side of the campfire. You turn right round and go the other way. Correct, nodded Dowdy. It's a complete change of direction. First in the thoughts of your head and then in the way your feet travel. Listen to the adventures of a monkey and a man. Toto was a young monkey who found small joy in the heavy paw of his monkey uncle, Nyani. Nyani, his mouth full of threats, stood on his special limb of their family tree. He waved his punga and shouted to his many relations, If any of you even puts the tip of his finger on this great knife of mine, he will also feel the flat of it in the place where hairs grow least. Toto, his tail tingling, was thinking dark thoughts of how to get his own back when a whisper from Hyena helped a sly idea to grow in his monkey mind. If only I had that great knife in my paws. Wow! Next day, as he watched the sharpening ceremony, wild and adventurous schemes grew between his ears. He could almost feel Panga in his paws and imagine it biting into Nyani's special limb. He could almost see chips flying. Hundreds of chips. Wow! Touch it at your peril, shouted Nyani. He pointed straight at Toto. At your peril! Do you hear? While the little monkeys were still shivering with fright, he followed the habit of certain senior monkeys and set out for a committee meeting. Toto watched him go and said things under his breath that would have brought no joy to his uncle. He placed one finger on the shining blade and suddenly knew exactly what to do. He grabbed the smooth handle, shot up, up, up the boo tree and out, out, out on his uncle's favourite limb, excitedly gripping Panga and not even glancing at the great ravine that yawned beneath him. Whoosh! Whoosh! The blade of the great knife cut through the air. Beautiful, gloated Toto. He faced the trunk of the boo tree and shouted, Here we go! He spat on his paws, took a deep breath, swung Panga back and... Chomp! went the knife. Suku, the parrot, squawked with alarm and monkey laughter echoed from the depths below. What do you think you're doing? shrieked Suku the parrot. Isn't that your uncle's panga? He'll be furious if he finds you chopping off his favourite limb. Toto grinned. He won't find me. As soon as it's off, so am I. You can say that again. Tweeger the giraffe heard the noise. He hurried towards the boo tree. He knew so well the ways of monkey wisdom. Toto, he shouted. Stop chopping. Look where you're standing. But monkey took no notice. He chopped and puffed and puffed and chopped. Giraffe came as close as he could. Toto, it's the worst sort of monkey wisdom to be out on a limb and do what you're doing, and chop where you're chopping. Monkey's ears were full of the thrilling sound Panga made when it bit into the limb. He chortled, Ever see chips fly faster, Twiga? Won't Uncle Nyani be furious when he finds his favourite limb gone? Wow! Twiga cleared his long throat. <coughs> 
Toto! Danger! Can't you see the awful risk in doing what you're doing? To stand where you're standing? To chop where you're chopping? Think and think again. But Toto took no notice. Panga bit into the limb again and again. Chips flew. Parrot screeched, Think, monkey, think! But monkey grinned and chopped and chopped and chopped and chopped. Suku fluttered round Tweega's head. Can't he understand? Doesn't he see what must happen? What will happen? Let's try again. Monkey! Toto monkey, called Giraffe. Change your mind about where you're standing. Change over to the safe side. But the only answer was a shower of chips. Below, Mbisi the hyena sneered, Wonderful thing, monkey wisdom. Vibi the vulture sniggered, <laughs> And useful for us. Dinner's nearly ready. Toto stopped for a rest. Suku shrilled, Listen, stupid! Change your mind about where you're standing. Then follow your mind with your feet. Over to safety. Monkey glared at him. I know what I'm doing. Of course you do. <laughs> Giggled Aina. Such a big parrot, croaked Vulture. Let the little fella have his fun. You do what you like, Toto. Teach that old monkey a lesson. Little monkey puffed out his chest. Chomp! The great knife flashed. The cut in the limb grew deeper. Giraffe moved to the very edge of the ravine. Above him the limb sagged a little. He called urgently, Toto, change your thinking. Change over to the trunk side, the safe side. Quickly. Tweega's voice was shrill. Change your mind quickly. Fast as you can. Change your direction. Monkey wasn't listening. He stopped hacking. The limb creaked. Toto grinned. It won't be long now. Suku fluttered anxiously. You're right. It won't be long. Now. Monkey muscles were strong. Chomp! Went Panga. Creak! Went the limb. Change your mind! Shrieked Suku. Change your direction! Yelled Tweega. Crack! Went the limb. Sudden fear seized Toto. He saw his danger. Panga slipped from his clammy paws. The limb began to tilt. In panic, Toto rushed farther out on the sagging limb. The other way! Turn round! Change your direction! yelled Tweeter. Toto hesitated. He saw what would happen, but such is monkey wisdom that he did nothing. With a final groaning crack, the limb broke. Down, down, down hurtled monkey and limb. Being out on a limb is more dangerous for men than for monkeys. There was the short, sharp tax man who loved money more than anything else. When he went up a tree and out on a limb, he had no time for God at all. But he did want to see Jesus. Jesus looked up at him and said, Come down. Today I want to stay at your house. He climbed down fast and asked Jesus, God's son, not only to come into his house, but to take charge of his life. Suddenly everything changed for Zacchaeus. That day he began a new life, a life that would go on forever. God promises, change your mind, 
repent. Go my way, that is, be converted, and your sins will be forgiven, completely blotted out. Jesus himself said, it is the lost I came to seek and save. What a splendid change this can make in your life if you change your mind and change your direction, as Zacchaeus did.